Hey guys, welcome back to Grain Free Homestead. Tonight we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna make homemade eggnog. Derek went to the grocery the other day, sometime this week, and he was gonna pick up eggnog, and it was like six dollars $6 for a half a gallon. So we decided we've got eggs because of the chickens, and we had all the other ingredients because it's simple ingredients that we normally have here. So we're gonna give it a shot trying to make homemade eggnog from scratch and then we're gonna let you guys know does it really taste like what you get at the store um, I'm kind of a snob about eggnog I like Dean's eggnog um, but I like the thicker eggnog so we're gonna see what this is like and how it turns out um, so come along and let's go through this recipe together so first things first we're gonna separate six eggs we're gonna save the yolks and put the whites in another bowl. To the egg yolks, we're gonna add a half a cup of sugar. And then we just whisk it together really good. And you do wanna whisk as much as you can it should turn to it's not going to turn white per se but just a creamy or yellow color especially if they're you know home eggs or cage-free eggs just get it good and blended incorporate it in as much as you can and you will see it lighten in color and that's what you want you just don't want it to be a more creamy yellow instead of dark yellow and this took i don't know a good three to four minutes You can kind of see here what it looks like uh, right before we start tempering it. In a separate pan on the stove, we're going to start with our two cups of milk. And then we also have one cup of heavy cream or heavy whipping cream. We're going to combine those together. And I just have my stove on medium heat. Like I said earlier, these ingredients, they are really simple ingredients. Everyone should pretty much have these um, in their pantry, except for maybe the heavy cream, but we're gonna add a pinch of salt here. I did a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. You could go a little bit more if you really like nutmeg, but I wouldn't do more than a teaspoon. And then I also went ahead and did a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, some people put in clove, ginger, cinnamon, all of it, but I just went with a half a teaspoon of cinnamon or no, it was a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And really, honestly, um, it was perfect. I liked the way it was flavored. It was just right. So I just keep this on medium heat and kind of blend it together, allow the spices to blend in with the milk. And you want to bring this up to heat, but you really don't want it to boil. Um, I, I just kind of looked for it to start steaming really, really well, um, just right below a simmer. Um, so I didn't want to see any bubbles or boiling of any kind. As you can see here, it was a team effort to get the eggs all whisked together. We were trying to get those, those as creamy as possible and well incorporated. So while I was working on the, the milk part, um, Sam here was making sure these eggs were good and mixed together. On to the fun part, we're tempering our eggs here. So we're just adding a, about a half of that scoop, that half cup measuring cup. We're adding about a half at a time. And I'm just continuing to whisk. Um, you really don't wanna stop whisking if you, if you can help it. Um, it just keeps those eggs from curdling. So we add about half of the mixture in this way. 
and then we kind of add the rest of it in all at once once it's kind of been brought up to temperature so as long as you don't see any clumping or any kind of chunks or anything in there then you got it you did a good job Okay, so we've got it back on the stove again on medium heat and we're just going to continue to stir. You don't necessarily have to use a whisk like we're doing here. Um, just stirring it is fine. You just want to make sure that you keep it from sticking to the bottom so that it doesn't burn or anything. Uh, but the key here, the goal is to get it up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that's just kind of, um, that's the temperature you want it to, you know, kill anything um, so that it's safe to drink. Um, so we again I have it on medium heat and we're just waiting to get it up to that temperature All right, we have success. We hit 160 degrees, so we're almost there. I'm adding a teaspoon and about a teaspoon and a quarter of uh, homemade vanilla. It's pretty strong, so I didn't you know, want to do two teaspoons or anything, but I did this after I pulled it off the heat. Um, I usually do that in most of my recipes, so that's what I stuck with in this one. Um, you can strain the eggnog, a lot of people do uh, run it through a strainer. I didn't see any point in doing that just because there wasn't any lumps or clumps or anything like that. And all of the spices, the nutmeg and the cinnamon, I want to be in the jar. I am going to put this straight in the refrigerator to get this cooled down. It is pretty hot and we're all kind of waiting impatiently for this to get done. We want to try it. Because um, it smells really good. It smells just like eggnog. So this next part is 100% optional. We had all these egg whites just sitting here in a bowl. And some recipes call for um, whipping up your egg whites with a little bit of sugar. We used a quarter cup. Um, you don't want stiff peaks, but soft peaks. And then you mix that or stir that in. You do not have to fold it um, with the eggnog. It doesn't have to be cooled completely. So it had cooled a little bit, but it wasn't completely cool here. Um, so I'm just trying to get it into that jar the best way I could figure out. Um, and then we stir it together. But you don't have to do this, but there was, you know, like six of us wanting to drink this eggnog. And as you can see, it didn't make a whole heck of a lot. So we thought that by adding this, it would add some volume to the eggnog in which it did. Um, it seems to kind of thicken it just a little bit. Um, I don't think it changed the taste or anything. Um, it just seemed to, to thicken the texture just a little bit um, and raise the volume, I don't know, half a cup, maybe a cup or so. But again, this is completely optional. A lot of people do not do this step. How good? I like it. It tastes yes. like store-bought. Compared to store-bought, Steph, what is it? It's really good. Better oh, than yeah. store-bought. You can tell it's getting gobbled up pretty quick. It tastes like... I think it's a little bit more flavorful. Alright guys, you can see we have already devastated this jar of eggnog. It is so good. It tastes better than anything you're going to get in the store. It, uh... Everybody is enjoying it. And we're probably going to be making um, two batches of this next time just so that there's enough for everybody to go around because it's, it's delicious. So I uh, definitely recommend, if you've never made homemade eggnog, try this recipe. Tell us in the comments below what you think. I can tell you what I think. I think it's amazing. So you guys have a blessed day. Like, subscribe, share if you like this video. And we appreciate you guys. Have a blessed day.